Hey, everybody. Two boys. One brain cell. Joel Norton. My name's Chuck Beeson, and today we are reacting to In a Sweater Poorly Knit. This is by me without you, but... All right, let's do back. it. Comment request. Aaron, let's go. Send it. Unsuspecting smile, little Moses drifts downstream in the Nile. A fumbling reply, an awkward, rigid laugh, and I'm carried helpless by my floating basket raft. Your flavor in my mind is back and forth between sweeter than any wine, as bitter as mustard greens, and it's light and dark as honeydew and pumpernickel bread. The trap I set for you seems to have caught my leg instead. Some other field, try and forget my name. We'll see what harvest yields. And supposing I do the same, I plant a row of peas by the first week of July. They should have come up to my knees, but they were maybe ankle high. Take the fingers from your flute to weave your colored yarns and boil down your fruit to preserves and mace and jars. And the books are overdue, and the goats are underfed. The trap I set for you seems to caught my leg instead. halfway point well this song is uh very atmospheric yes um and at first the vocals i was like a little bit of folk punk maybe i wasn't sure about them like it's just very vocally different. maybe in i don't know how to put it they were definitely interesting um i definitely enjoyed them right right away though you did yeah so at first i was like okay first couple lines i was like all right but i really liked the wordplay here and like just the variety of words that he was throwing at you and like legitly by like you know 15 20 seconds into him singing yeah was digging it already for sure but like this right here the sweeter than any wine and bitter as mustard greens i've never had mustard greens in my life but i know <laughs> they're bitter you know what i mean it's weird i just know <laughs> i just know they're bitter so I really like and it's as light as honey or it's as dark as honeydew and is, and pumpernickel bread. Like I don't know why, but and then the trap I seem I don't really know what's going on either. I dude. So the first part he's talking about Moses drifting down the Nile. Yeah. Okay. And that whole thing flowed really nicely. It really did. It really nicely. And then the second part there, go plow some other field and try to forget my name. We'll heart we'll see what harvest yields. And su supposing I do the same. Yep. I plan a row of peas by the first week of July. They should have come up to my knees, but they were only ankle high. That just like the whole thing, this whole right here gave like a vibe of a simpler time yeah. or a oh, harder yeah. time, maybe even <laughs> simpler, but harder. Just a different. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cause you know, they're, they're boiling down the fruits for per preserves uh -huh. preservatives in the, yeah. Dude. Yeah. And I, honestly, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I, I kind of, don't mind that right and it was like i really like that line you're a door without a key a field without a fence i don't think we haven't got that have we 
Yeah. Are you not listening? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. That was right, right before the middle, the pause. Sorry. <laughs> you made a holy fool of me, and I've thanked you ever since. I'm not going to lie. That's an I'm, interesting I'm line. I'm like kind of caught up on those first two, like, verses. Yeah, I, I Just get like that. wondering what's happening. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, my God. But no, I'm in, uh, like you said, the, the atmospheric vibe, that's really oh, nicely. Yeah. And then it's like folk, uh, I would say folk punk, like vocals almost. Almost. Over like an atmospheric background. Yeah, I can definitely, I can get behind that. Yeah. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's uh, jump back into this. Yeah. If she comes circling back, we'll end where we've begun, like two pennies on the train track, the train crush into one, but if I'm a crown without a king, if I'm a broken open sea. If I come without a thing, then I come with all I need. No boat out in the blue, no place to rest your head. The trap I set for you seems to have caught my leg instead. like a trippy second half of the song there a little bit um i really like the line that started started us off in that second half i'm a crown without a king yeah (laughs) okay you're a door without a key a field without a fence you made a holy fool of me and i've thanked you ever since and if she comes circling back we'll end where we begun like two pennies on the train track the train crushed into one but i if i'm a king or crown, crown without, without a king. King, king if i'm a broken open seed if i come with that it's not like poetry it's legit like poetry yeah 100 percent. if i come without a thing then i come with all i need no boat out of the blue no place to rest your head the trap i set for you seems to have caught my leg instead and i really like that i'm like i don't know what this means at all but i dig it it almost feels like he did something bad yeah that was going to hurt somebody else, and it did but it he ended up with the being the one that got crushed by it. like the repercussions of it. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I get from that line. But then the rest, I'm like trying to connect it, and I'm not exactly sure. But it doesn't really matter to me. Like the second half almost lets you ponder the first half of the song a little bit, and then honestly, just that uh, the "I do not exist" part. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Why don't you exist? Uh, what? What? Okay, first of all, normally, in a typical circumstance, I would absolutely hate that. The I do not exist, I do not exist, like over and over. It was so atmospheric. Though. Yeah, it was the atmospheric feel there at the end. And like I said, it almost like while that was happening, I was still pondering the first half of the song. 
So it kind of like was nice. You know, I was uh, at a certain point during the I do not exist parts, I was over it. Really? And then it switched to that outro. That and I'm beautiful, like, the piano, like, kind all of, right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Back to chill. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the song a lot. Um, honestly, not exactly what I expected. No, not even at all. Bit. Not even a little <laughs> bit. I had no clue what to go going in, what it would be. Never do with him. Uh, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Second biggest song on there. Yeah. Um, ratings, I guess. Yeah, we can jump into ratings. You're going to want to go first. Yeah, I know I am. <laughs> I could, I could tell. Yeah, no, I, I um, really. I definitely enjoyed it. I'm gonna go with a six point three, and I'm gonna add it to a playlist. Okay, so like I said, I just really love the lyrics here, and the vocals really grew on me throughout the entire thing, and the just atmospheric vibe. But the the lyrics, I don't know if there's like, I'm sure there's a lot more there that we're not catching first listen. Oh but. no, no. What I'm just saying is like Ooh. I really just love the words he used in a lot of this, and like I oh, said, yeah. the sweeter than any wine, bitter as mustard greens. Never would have thought to describe something. You know what I mean? Like that. Like that. And it was really unique, and it stuck out. And at first, I was like, I don't know if I like this, but then the more I thought about it, I'm like, I really. I, and then oh, he hit it with the light as light as dark as honeydew and pumpernickel bread. And I was like, whoa. What just a, happened? <laughs> that's a whole thought process and a line right there. Like, it's as light as dark as honeydew and pumpernickel bread. I'm like, <laughs> then you're like, oh, my God, the bread swirls. You know, like, oh, like, I dig it. 8.5. I'm going to go, with, and it's going to go on a playlist for sure. Boom. And it's going to go on a playlist, a faux show. That's a hitter for you, huh? Yeah, and this, I'm just going to throw this in a folk punk list, I guess. So, if you were curious about our two boys, one brain cell list, those are down in the description. And this one goes in one. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Because Joel rated above an eight. Yes. If one of us vote, uh, rate something above an eight, it goes in there. If we both rate a seven or higher, it goes, it goes in, there. in there. So, yes. Shout out to you, Aaron. Good pick. Well done. Yeah. But Both. we are two, two boys. boys. One brain cell. I'm Chuck Beeson. Joel Norton. And I hope you all have a great day. Hit that like. Peace. Peace out.